Good evening. This is Lily Bouts from Channel 10 News. Today we are discussing bay pollution and how it affects our world. We are going to visit a, with a few of our field reporters stationed all over the United States. So let's send it out to Sharon Bouts in the Florida Keys. This is Sharon Bouts reporting from Marathon in the beautiful Florida Keys. The Florida Keys are very serious about environmental awareness and maintaining safe bays for sea life. They have installed special containers such as this one for used fishing line, which they call filament. This prevents the sea life from getting tangled in the fishing line, making it a more environmentally safe haven for all sea life. Marathon also takes much pride in environmental education for residents and visitors. There is a special turtle hospital that invites people in for classes to educate them on the importance of keeping the environment safe for all sea life, especially turtles. Now back to you, Lily. Thanks, that was a great report. Now let's send it out to Kelly Cunningham in Cape May, New Jersey. Kelly Cunningham reporting from Cape May, New Jersey. New Jersey is probably one of the most progressive states dealing with environmental protection. There are 141 miles of coastal waterways in New Jersey, and the DEP, which is the Department of Environmental Protection, is doing its best to create laws that protect not only the public, but especially commercial fishermen. Many of my friends are commercial fishermen, and their livelihood depends on the number of fish that they catch. Pollution seems to be creating quite a problem for them. Pollution meaning oil spills in the bays and the ocean. Pollution meaning plastic bottles that have been thrown in the water. Pollution meaning plastic wrap that has been thrown in the water. And most of this is done by recreational fishermen who really don't seem to care as much about the fishing industry. We all need to be aware of water pollution so that future generations will be able to enjoy fresh caught fish. This is Kelly Cunningham reporting from Cape May. Back to you, Lily. Wow, it is amazing how pollution can be so harmful to people and animals. Thanks for that report, Kelly. For our final field report, let's send it to Harold in Anchorage, Alaska. Hi, this is Harold Cool reporting on the Cook Inlet just outside of Anchorage, Alaska on the pollution that we have in our waterways. Currently, our outlook looks much better since our legislature has taken steps to limit the types of mining that would contribute to pollution within these waterways, killing the salmon industry and also limiting the amount of fishing that we do for recreation here. Currently, the outlook looks a lot better for our residents and our fishermen because of these steps. So it's all good here in Alaska. So back to you, Lily, in the newsroom. Thanks, Harold. I hope this has shown you what pollution does to our bays and what people are doing to prevent it. Thanks for watching tonight's newscast. This is Lily Vats coming from. <laughs> wow, that was an amazing. No, that was.